Welcome to This Day. It is Tuesday, February 16th. We do have one meeting to tell you about today, and that will be the third board meeting. That will be live televised right here on Village Television, immediately following our morning broadcast of This Day. But you could always follow along at lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings. Now, on our show today, we do have Jeff Parker, and we have some great information for you regarding uh, some of our updated numbers, as well as the vaccination information that happened this last Friday. And then we are going to bring you a clip from vaccinations that did happen on Friday as well. Now let's go ahead and uh, give you our COVID-19 information that we normally do. Of course, you can always call the hotline at 594-2533, which is strictly the village vaccination hotline. We ask that you do not call resident services. However, if you could go to the LagunaWoodsVillageAlerts.com website, there is an FAQ there that most of your questions should be answered by just looking it up rather than calling the hotline. Now, if you are a Kaiser Permanente Orange County uh, member, you can call their hotline, which is 833-574-2273. And if you are 75 and over, you can get an appointment by going to kp.org forward slash COVID vaccine click on make an appointment and they wanted to let you know that ages 65 to 74 will be contacted soon so they are going to reach out to all of their members for that age now if you want to go to soka university or disneyland you will have to register on ofina.com and that is very simple information that you put in there and they will assign you either soka university or disneyland if you want more information about that you can go to occovid19.ochealthinfo.com Calm. Now, I want to show you a clip before we get to our weather. Check out these dogs. This is in Austin, Texas. They got seven and a half inches of snow, record levels, unheard of. So I think it's a good thing we're here in uh, Southern California because we're not looking at that for sure. Our weather is looking pretty nice this week. We are looking at Tuesday, 69.48 today with the partly sunny skies. Tomorrow, 71.52, mostly sunny, and then we're going to go into some nice sunshine on Thursday, 72.54, Friday, 69.51, and then Saturday, partly cloudy, 66.50. Of course, those do change over the course of the next couple of days. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.34, and our sunset will be at 5.34. All right, photo by David Silberstein. Thank you so much for sending that in. That does not look like the view of our valley. That looks like something totally different. If you have a photo that you would like to share with us, please go, please send it to Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com. All right, when we come back, we will have Jeff Parker. Stay tuned. At the Memorial Care Breast Centers, our sole focus is to save lives through annual mammograms. We've implemented the following safety measures to keep you safe during your appointment. All patients are screened upon entry and will be asked to wear a mask. Waiting areas and dressing rooms have been rearranged and are being disinfected more frequently. Appointment times are staggered for social distancing. All staff are screened upon entry and wear appropriate PPE. Our standalone breast centers are located throughout our communities and with easily accessible locations from Long Beach to Rancho Mission Viejo, we're here for you, close to home. We consider hearing to be an essential part of your life. During this time of quarantine and isolation, you need to be hearing the best you can to understand how to stay safe and to hear your friends and family. Advanced Ear Care is offering service to everyone that needs help with their hearing aids, no matter where it was you purchased. If it's not working properly, please call for a free troubleshooting appointment. We even have hands-free, no-contact curbside service. There's no charge for this service. Advanced Ear Care is here to keep you hearing during these critical days. Did you know there are over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today? So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? You can turn to the Answers Guide, published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the Social Services Office. The Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. Welcome 
Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here, and we're going to go over some COVID numbers as well as the Laguna Woods vaccination program. Hi, welcome. Did you have a good three-day weekend? It was nice. Nice. It and is nice yourself? to always have that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want you well. to like make that happen every weekend. Yeah. Can you make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 there is uh, the advantage of getting a couple things done and then having actual two days to do your own stuff. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Well, welcome. Thank you. So let's do numbers first, and then we have a bunch of information about our uh, vaccination process. So okay. starting with numbers, uh, uh, again, uh, a positive on the positive side for sure. We're seeing um, reduction in cases and reduction in hospitalizations, especially in the ICU. We're down to, um, so we'll start with cases at 361. Uh, last week we had numbers in the, all the way up to 900. Um, so that's a big, big drop. Yeah, I'll um, say. So that's good. And uh, still, the tests though are still pretty high, so that's that's a good ratio when you start seeing um, 11,000 tests, but only 361 positive. So, seeing that trend going in the right direction, mm -hmm. and then with regards to hospitalizations, um, 790, and then 257 in the ICU, that was a uh, thousand uh, when we spoke last week. Wow. Um, with regards to hospitalizations, and we were 331 ICU. So. Pretty good um, yeah, drop there, um, good. and we like to see that. Unfortunately, um, passing away of 33 people, uh, again, surprised. six people in assisted living or nursing care facility, but 27 that weren't. So um, wow. those are the um, big numbers for Orange County. Mm -hmm. uh, with regards to Laguna Woods, again, the community of Laguna Woods in total, um, we're at um, 384 cases, so we've gone up a little bit. Um, compared to what we were last week, mm -hmm. um, but our deaths in, in the community um, and in the city have not changed. There are 28, right. so that's a good sign that's considering news. what you're seeing is that kind of backlog of um, yeah. fortunately people that are in the ICUs who uh, can't survive or didn't survive, uh, which is sad, um, is, is going up, but not in our, not in our case. Right, so right. that's good. That's One thing good. I noticed in the numbers is that it said that we had almost, almost 3 million people that were tested. Well, that's yeah. really close to almost how many people we have here in Orange County, right? Yeah. I mean, that's yep. pretty close. Yep. So that's a good thing. And then you look at those numbers where the positivity <clears throat> rate is much lower like it shows here. Yeah, and that's uh, the sign, especially in the test positive rate of 9.4, mm -hmm. continues to drop pretty uh, dramatically. And 29, um, you know, like I said, uh, two weeks ago we were talking 49, and now mm -hmm. we're at 29. Uh, so we're making steady progress. Um, the communities out there, the whole county, that's that's a good sign. Obviously, we still have ways to go to get to to that red category, but we're going in the right direction. Oh, that's we're, for sure. we're making a lot of progress. Yeah. That's awesome. That's that is good. very good. Great. Well, yay! Let's hope that we are able to bypass. I mean, there was the Super Bowl, right? And then so far, we're not seeing an uptick from that, which is great news. That's really and good. And then more news. and more people are getting vaccinated, which is great. And uh, which brings me into what we've done here for the villagers. So good right. stuff. So as, a, as we, just to recap, um, this last weekend, um, because we didn't receive any additional doses uh, for Saturday and Sunday, we only did Friday, right. um, but we were able to get up to eight, over 8,500 residents that um, um, we vaccinated here in the village. So a mm -hmm. really good number that we've accomplished. Mm -hmm. And so now, as I mentioned um, last week, we're starting into phase two, which is really to hit our second dose operations. Right. And so we'll be starting that this weekend. We're gonna start with the towers first. Um, that was the first group that got their right. vaccination. So we're doing that Friday. Mm -hmm. And then our second dose um, um, vaccinations will be for people who received their first vaccinations that first weekend on January 22nd through the 24th. Mm -hmm. and those will be taken care of on Saturday and Sunday. And they have, they will have appointments and have they been notified the, of those appointments yet? So, so we're doing two, there's about three different ways that they're being notified. Okay. One, they can go on, um, it's starting this afternoon. Um, they can go on lagunawoodsvillagealerts.com and there's going to be the portal yes. that is being put together by Memorial Care and that will have your appointments specifically on there. Okay. Um, so that's number one. The, the, what the portal will also do eventually will allow people who are looking for their second doses down the road a couple of weekends from now mm -hmm. being able to do that but this weekend is the only thing that's up on the portal as as of right now and we're okay. trying to get that portal up this afternoon so people can check on their appointments okay if um the the second way was emails from again from the 
um, Memorial Care um, working there. They have a permit, um, a process where when they took in the email information, they're sending out notices of, of appointments via email. Mm -hmm. But some people don't have an email, so check your emails. For yeah. residents who got that shot from January 22nd to 24th, go back in right now because that email came out last week. So go back in, check your spam, check your email, your appointment should be there. If right. it's not, um, the third way that they're going to be notifying uh, a well is through a telephone call. So okay. kind of like a robocall. Um, Memorial Care Appointment System is going to call um, 48 to 24 hours um, in advance okay. of Saturday and Sunday. So you'd be hearing a phone call on Friday, potentially on Thursday. And we hope that by having all three levels, the phone call, the portal, and the email, everybody will know when their appointment is and when they should come down. Um, okay. Don't just come down at 8 o'clock in the morning, even right. though you have your appointment at 4 right. o'clock in the afternoon. We, we have it scheduled out because that's, there's only so many doses that we can do on an hourly basis. Okay, and, and this is strictly for those who are getting their second dose. Correct. So uh, do you have any, I would assume this is going to take three weekends to catch up with the 8500, right? Yes, that's okay. correct. So we'll do almost just identical process that we did. Okay. Um, but we'll be focusing on second doses. Okay. For those, those individuals who for some reason declined or um, just didn't want to do it at that point in time and rethought it and want to get a first dose, um, they can go on the county uh, website, Athena, mm -hmm. and they're still taking appointments at those locations, right. which is both Disneyland and Soka. Yes. So that's a good way to do that. Um, and that's some, if you're 65 and over. Exactly. Right. Okay. Um, and so if, if if they wanted to um, send us information that they hadn't received their first dose, we'll take that information online and then we'll make a list. Yeah. And, and just to make sure everybody understands, it's just a list that we're, we're calculating. And then we'll try to get that to, with Memorial Care and see if there's anything we can do. The number one priority I would tell people, if you haven't gotten your first dose and you want to, mm -hmm. go through the Athena um, website because they have so many more capabilities at both Disneyland and Soka oh, yeah. to take you in. Yeah, they're they're doing you know anywhere from three to four thousand doses a day, cool. uh, vaccines a day. Um, now, just to reiterate, so you said sixty-five and over can get on a wait list if they would like to be uh, on the wait list for the vaccination, your first dose of vaccinations, right. uh, and that would be info at lagunawoodsvillage.com is the one that they're going to send the information to, and then of course that is not for a few weeks that you'll be administering the first dose again? Probably not. And in, in all reality, it's going to be, um, and it won't be necessarily um, here. We would be working with Memorial Care to um, do it at maybe another clinic, but we know that um, we want to help people out get that shot. Um, okay. And like you said, um, the Athena app and um, being able to go through the county um, because of the numbers that they're doing, is probably your your best bet with regards to moving in that direction if you wanted right. to get that first shot. Right, exactly. Um, something to consider when you talk about the towers. Now, if people wanted information regarding their second doses there, Lisa Armstrong, who is the general manager, would have that information, correct? She would. Um, I do want to say that, again, we're um, they are going to get the same kind of notification process um, with regards to the appointments and process. And then, like, we're doing their the towers on Friday. Right. Um, so it's specific to Friday as opposed to intermixing it with the Saturday and Sunday, which was the rest of Clubhouse 7. So okay. um, they should be getting the same kind of information, um, email, uh, notification, or a phone call follow-up, um, and, and that process will start a little bit earlier, obviously, because that's Friday. Okay, perfect. And then um, I think they've been getting phone calls at the hotline about a vaccination appointments. But that's not what you want to use the hotline for, correct? Right. That's correct. You want to go to the website that you mentioned. To, if you're going to get on a waiting list, that's that's the place to go. Okay. Um, because the hotline's not going to be able to set appointments, uh, counsel you on appointments. So the better way is to get on that wait list, and then we can we can handle it from there. Okay, good. Now, one thing to uh, take into consideration is what you need to do for your second dose. So there are some preparations and, and things you need to bring with you. Real important too, because of the, um, the vaccine appointments are critical. So we, we want you to bring your vaccine card. 
Okay. Um, so when you received your card, when you got vaccinated, we want you to bring that now. In some cases that didn't have an appointment on it. That's why we're rolling out this appointment process. Okay. But bring your card. It shows when you got your first vaccine. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, when you're driving in, we're gonna have people um, there, security, asking for you to show your vaccine. Because what we don't want is we don't want to get it intermixed with somebody thinking they can come in and get a first dose or anything. So the, it's really imperative that people bring their um, first dose card. Okay. Uh, and that, that's really gonna help up. And there are no walk-ups for the second dose. Okay. Um, so um, not somebody going to, um, in, in a sense, walk in and say, hey, I'm, I, want, I got a second dose, or I got my first dose over in Disneyland. Oh, and I want yeah. to come in. You have to stay and, within your same process. Right. right. Okay. So okay. that's real, real critical because I think some people think, well, hey, it's going to be easier or a circumstance where I went to Disneyland or I went to Long Beach. We're hearing them, but, yeah. but your appointment's going to be back at that location for your second dose. Okay. So if the people who, who the first group that did not get their vaccination card, what are they going to have to show the folks? Will there be a list? Well, they got a, at the, they got a card. Um, they oh, they did get a they, card they get, anyway. But what they didn't have was an appointment oh, on I there see. for this okay. weekend. Okay, so great. bring your card and uh, okay. that, uh, still have it on there the date you got the Perfect. Exam. So at least, because I didn't know that they got a card, but yeah. it just did not have a date of it when it It didn't have out. a date okay. of the appointment for the second. Oh, okay. All and right. Well, that's Once good. we got into the system in a little, another few weekends, we were able to put the updated um, when, when their second vaccine Okay. Was and then I also know that you guys started house calls, which yeah, is great. One, one of the, you know, we talked about it last weekend. One of the really, really nice things we were able to do is work with some memorial care volunteers and doctors and nurses and help to get into... Um, some of our residents um, in their homes mm -hmm. and get them the shots because they'll say they had a broken leg or, or, mm -hmm. or a circumstance where they couldn't get out of bed. Mm -hmm. And we did a number of those. And we're, again, if, if, if you run into that scenario again, please use the same app, contact us, we'll put you on a waiting list and we'll see if we can do that again in the future. But it was very successful. Yeah, you guys did 68 residents at, which is really great. And then what they are instructing folks to do is to call social services. And that number is 949-597-4267. Or again, like you mentioned, you can send an email to info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. And they can get on the list and be considered for a future. Either, either way, we wanna, we wanna help you out if we can. Um, and, and doing that many people, um, given the list that we had, um, it, it was able to really address some great needs. There's a great footage that we had with some uh, a, a lady who couldn't get out of bed type of yeah. thing. And, and it, it just showed that um, the service that we've been able to provide to our residents here in Laguna um, Woods has just been phenomenal. And, and I can't thank Memorial Care and their volunteers. That's great. Um, it's just been super. It's been great. You might have a flood of people wanting to move here now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay. Well, with, with that mentioned, the vaccination program, we do have a clip that we want to show you of what happened last Friday. So take a look. Good morning. So we're here at Clubhouse 7. It's a pretty exciting day for us because we're about to take off with two teams of healthcare professionals that are going to go out and vaccinate some of our most elderly residents. So it's the first time that we are aware of this happening and we're just very, very excited that we have the opportunity to do it. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Hahn and I'm a retired obstetrician gynecologist. I am volunteering with Memorial Care and we are vaccinating <laughs> seniors in Laguna Woods in their community at their clubhouse and we're so excited to be doing this because it is a service that we can provide right in their backyard. Tanya Evans, I'm a dermatologist in the community 
and I'm, I feel honored to be here today and part of Memorial Care Saddleback Memorial Medical Center and we're going out to help out the community, our elderly population here in Laguna Woods and Laguna Hills and I feel honored and privileged to be part of Memorial Care and to be out there in the mobile unit to go out and vaccinate the people that can't get to the clinic to be vaccinated. So we're excited about this. This is a great community project and we're all volunteers. My name is Nora Evans and I'm a surgeon at the Memorial Care Saddleback. And for years, um, the residents at Laguna Woods Village have entrusted their care to Memorial Care Saddleback. And for many years, uh, Memorial Care Saddleback has um, come up to meet the needs of those residents. Today, we're even taking a step further by actually going to the residents that are homebound that can't physically come to the clubhouse to receive their vaccine. So we're actually going to their homes to um, administer their vaccine. We are so um, excited to be part of this great project. Well, welcome back. Doesn't that look great? You guys did a great job and Moral Care, like you mentioned, is awesome. awesome. So thank you. It was nice to see you and we'll catch up with you on Friday. On Friday. Sounds great. All right. Thank you, Lisa. All right. And uh, when we come right back, we will have some additional information about Laguna Woods for you. So stay tuned. I'm very concerned that patients with stroke, heart attack, sepsis, or other medical emergencies are delaying care. Let me reassure you, it is safe and critically important that you do not ignore the signs and symptoms such as chest discomfort, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, or sudden onset of headache. If you think you may be having a medical emergency, don't wait, call 911 or go to your nearest emergency room. In a time of need, it's more important than ever to have caring professionals around you that exemplify kindness, compassion, and empathy. Aletheia Home Care is a non-medical family-owned company aiming to improve and maintain the quality of life for our clients and their families. We work hard to ensure your loved ones are safe and comfortable in a warm and familiar environment. Located right here in Laguna Woods, our services include companionship, light housekeeping, respite care, hospice support, transportation, and so much more. Spoil your loved ones with quality care and call today. Improving your hearing is the most effective way to prevent cognitive decline. Research shows your brain cannot remember what it doesn't hear. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner of Amazing Hearing. Hearing loss makes understanding harder when others are wearing masks while doing Zoom calls, FaceTime, and watching TV. It's time to enjoy conversations again. Call Amazing Hearing to schedule your hearing appointment. We are the experts and we accept some insurances. Welcome back. Well, there's a mobile unit that I want to tell you about. It's called a one-stop mobile unit, and it has loads of services for you. You can do business services if you need to. They have individual services, like maybe you might be looking for some work, some part-time work. It, it really is going to have just a plethora of different kinds of things, and the best way to find out what it has to offer is to go to ocone-stop.com or you can call 714-480-6500 to find out when it's going to be in the area. Now, the Video Club is doing a very special uh, video presentation this Thursday, and it's going to be at 7 p.m., and they're going to have short video contest. Ten original four-minute videos will be submitted, and they will be shown at this particular meeting. Now, if you would like to participate, you can send an email to Video Club of Laguna Woods at gmail.com, and you mentioned video contest, and they will send you the link to be able to participate in seeing those videos. So that should be something really fun. 
And then our old pros has love in the air for the month of February. So just coming off of Valentine's week. Oh, we have woman of the year. Assemblywoman Cotty Petri Norris is looking for a woman of the year in either Costa Mesa, Huntington Beach, Irvine, Laguna Beach, Laguna Woods, or Newport Beach. So if you know of somebody that you would like to, like you would like to nominate, please go to the website a74.asmdc.org forward slash WOD and you only have until this Friday. Now there's love in the air from the old pros. It is going to be something fun where they celebrate joy and spirit of love with music, readings, dramatizations, humor, and more. And that's going to be at 7 p.m. every Sunday throughout the rest of the month here in February. Okay, let's take a look at our weather one last time. It's looking quite nice. Like I mentioned, nothing like it's looking like the Midwest there and uh, Central California or Central uh, United States. We are looking at nice temperatures today, partly sunny with 69, 48. Wednesday, 71, 52, mostly sunny. Thursday, 72, 54. Friday, 69, 51. And then on Saturday, 66, 50 with partly cloudy skies. And I wanted to just reiterate the two um, website and the email that you can participate in for the vaccination. Now, the if you want to get on the wait list, you would go to info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. And then what, the portal will be available sometime this afternoon. And that is at lagunawoodsvillagealerts.com. So those are two things that you may want to take into consideration if you are looking for more information about the vaccinations. All right, have a great day in the village. We'll see you again here tomorrow at 9 a.m. You can always watch our rebroadcast at 12.30 and 5. And then don't forget, following our morning broadcast, we will have the third board meeting. Bye-bye. has us all practicing social distancing. But in times like this, it's just as necessary to remember the importance of maintaining good dental health. Good dental health can help improve your body's immune system to fight deadly diseases, from respiratory infections to heart disease and diabetes. Our general dentists and specialists are committed to helping you stay healthy. Located right next to Laguna Woods with a bus stop right in front, we are open to see you for emergency cases. Call today for an appointment, 949-830-0074. At our new Memorial Wave Imaging Center in Laguna Woods, formerly Orange County Diagnostics, you can expect the same precise imaging, multiple modalities for your imaging needs, and the same friendly staff with medical providers like Dr. Syed Shirakni. The Laguna Woods Transportation Service offers convenient access right to our door, and we continue to provide the care and compassion that you expect from our new Wave Laguna Woods location. Mind and Memory Program at Mission Hospital is an outpatient program specifically designed for patients with a memory disorder who have developed a mental health issue, such as depression, anxiety, or paranoia. Patients are welcome every day, Monday through Friday, up to four days a week. On-site meals and snacks are included, and transportation to and from the program is available. The program focuses on improvement in overall mood, function, and concentration, as well as a decrease in depression or anxiety. Call today to find out if you or your loved one qualifies for the Mind and Memory Program. At Pro Smiles OC, you get Orange County's best and most experienced dentist. Dr. Ivan Ho is an award-winning cosmetic and implant dentist that has been treating patients in South OC and Laguna Woods for over 30 years. Safety and cleanliness is our number one priority, and now your routine dental work is more comfortable than ever. We use digital x-rays to minimize radiation and digital scans for crowns and inlays in-house, allowing patients to leave with final restorations in the same appointment. Let Dr. Ho and his team give you a reason to smile. Call Pro Smiles OC today.